All right, today we're gonna attempt to install these Rough Country neoprene seat covers for 2015 to 2020 um, F-150s. Uh, my personal F-150 is a 2018. I've had it for just over four years and I definitely want the seats to last longer even though they're in good shape. And uh, kind of like this, this is kind of cool. So Rough Country logo is a gray and it kind of kind of goes with the gray in my truck. Anyway. Okay, uh, first thing we're gonna do is remove the headrests and then we're gonna slide this over. Um, looks like, from what I'm understanding, that they have these cutouts for the airbags, so look for that on determining which uh, goes over which seat. So it's this right here is gonna be on our driver's side. Okay, headrest is off and Okay, next we're gonna tuck these straps under. There's like a flap right here with a little bar of some kind. You're gonna tuck that out of the middle. And we're gonna tuck these straps. Uh, these straps right here will go into the front. And then these shorter ones here are gonna feed through the back. And I guess we'll just snap them together underneath. So maybe we'll be able to get away without taking out the seats after all. Now we've got that looks gross under there. We need to vacuum under there. Got straps hanging down there, and then we'll connect them through the front. So these three hooks are gonna, there's almost like a uh, chicken wire or something kind of feeling, little grid pattern under here. I'm gonna try to hook those into there. After you've done that, we've got these three straps here, and we're gonna take our straps that we took all the slack out of in front and connect these to those straps underneath. All right, we've got all those straps through and have found more lovely crumbs and junk underneath the seat. And we're gonna connect all these up and then we're gonna tighten those straps. Okay, we've snugged those straps all the way. Um, Quite frankly, they're not the heaviest duty feeling. They don't feel like a fast text or anything, so I hope they hold up. Guess time will tell. Okay, now we've got these hooks right here and right here. Um, not. It says to hook it un underneath. I don't know where on earth we're gonna. Maybe somewhere under here into the track. definitely got attached to the it's got attached to the seat because obviously it seat moves and needs to move with it all right well there we go and I'm just gonna feel my way around on this one Okay, we got that hooked up. I'm just gonna make sure that it's not hanging up anywhere. Good. Now I put the headrest cover on. Let's see if I can get this one handed. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Okay, and I'll see if I can figure out how to do the Velcro. All right, looks like there's some Velcro tabs around here that fold around and underneath and hook on the other. I'm gonna need two hands for this. All right, all hooked up. Passenger side should be exactly the same. 
and uh, I'm going to do that real quick without sitting here and boring you guys with the details unless I run into anything interesting. All right, we got the passenger side installed, and now it's time to go to the back seats. Okay, it's on to the back seats. I'm going to take the headrests off first. Okay, now that we have those off, uh, most of you guys would have to lift this up, uh, this seat up, to get this to, uh, to get this to tilt forward to access. There's a little pin in back, but I've got something right here. I definitely recommend this by uh, Built Right Industries. Hopefully, the seat cover will work with it. I don't know if it's going to or not. I may have to do a little modification. But that gives you nice access to all this back here. There is a square cutout on the back. Hopefully it'll tuck underneath here and won't affect the function. We'll find out. Oh, and be sure that you get your seat belt on the outside of this uh, so it'll actually work before you slide it on. Well, good, good news. It looks like it does fit uh, around that uh, Built Right Industries release. And it seems to work. Now what you have is like a some kind of skirt of fabric, and that all that all tucks underneath, and you're gonna velcro it here. So we'll do that. And it does lock back in place, so that's good. We can put our headrest back on over here after we uh, get our seat done. For the seat, the bottom looks like you just lift up and uh, slide it over. There's some straps. You can see here, and we'll try it out. I will tell you right now, this bottom part is a pain in the butt. Trying to get these uh, short little straps in the back, they should have been the long ones in the back. Because trying to get those tucked in and then grab and pull through, man, it is a pain. I'm gonna have to take a short break. Okay, after a lot of trying and a little bit of adult language, I got these straps, these four straps done. Uh, the key is on this side, closer to the passenger side, just, just lay down flat and grab that stuff from underneath. And on this side, if you tilt the seat back forward, it's easier to feed the uh, straps down here through. All right, uh, there it is. I may try later on maybe weaving the cross straps underneath. But for now, I'm gonna try it like this. This one works just like the other side, it's just smaller. Uh, just slide it over, got your notch cut out there for the for that little locking mechanism. And it looks like the same kind of thing with the Velcro with a little skirt here. So I'll just slide it on. This back went on really easy. One, it's shorter than the other one or narrower. And since I'd already done the other one, I kind of knew what to expect. So that went on real fast. And hopefully with far fewer straps on the seat, should go on a lot easier than that other one. Okay, and all that's left is to put these uh, covers on the headrests and get those reinstalled. All right, there's everything installed, all done. All right. I like it. Well, I'm going to take it out and see how it feels. Okay, one thing I did notice right off the bat, um, if you have the ability to lower your seat any further, you may want to, because it does, it's just a slight bit thicker. Uh, so you do sit up slightly higher than you would. So I've got my seat as low as it goes. Not a lot of head clearance, but anyway. Um, feels comfortable though. Big thing is these headrests really feel really comfy so i say uh it's a good good uh, install uh 200 bucks on amazon or i'm sure it's uh you can probably get it anywhere that sells uh rough country products but yeah um definitely recommend oh and uh, not to mention um total time about 35 minutes um you know the back seat was kind of a pain so i took a quick break but you can probably do it around, you know, 35 minutes. Uh, no tools, so 
that's about it guys i've got some other things in the works and i'll be posting soon